Okay, so in our previous video, we had seen how you can use your asset inventory using your cloud UI console. Now in this particular lecture, we can see on how you can export this particular data to both cloud storage as well as BigQuery. So in this example, I'll show you how you can export your resource information to a, into, a big, into a cloud storage bucket. So let's see how we can do that. So the first thing that you need to do is you need to go to your cloud shell and open your cloud shell. And there is a documentation here which shows you all the steps that you need to take. So let's go through this particular documentation. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll export all resource name without the metadata for a particular project. Now you can do it at an organization level, at a project level, or even at a folder level. So let's do it at a project level. So let's copy this particular you are, uh, this particular command and let's paste it. So here the project ID is, so let's go to this particular dropdown and this is the project ID. Let me copy this. And let me paste it here. And I have already created a cloud storage bucket. So let's get that information as well. So let's go to a cloud storage. So there is a bucket that I've created. So this is the bucket. Let me just copy this and let's paste it here. And here you can just give a name for your file. So let's just call this as asset. asset. So this particular file does not exist currently. So it will get created once this particular action is performed. So let's copy this and let's paste it in our console. Click on authorize. And you can see that this particular process is taking place. So let's open our particular bucket. And you can see a file called asset underscore project has been downloaded here. So if I open this particular file, let's open this particular file. Let's download this. So this particular file gives you very little information. It just gives you the update time, the name of the project and the name of that particular resource. So this is not much information. Now, if you want to have also metadata information along with the resource, so all that you need to do is let's go back to our documentation here. So this is basically exporting all resource name without metadata. So if you want the metadata as well, so all that you need to do is you need to also add this particular content type as resource. So let's do this for the same project as well. Let me copy this. And again, similarly, let's, let's run this command as well. So before that, let's populate all the variables. Let me copy this. And here, similarly, I'll also I'll say with metadata. And let's run this particular command. Okay, so this command has run as well. So again, let's go back to our bucket. Let's refresh this. And we can see that this new file that we've created is of larger size. So let's open this as well. And let's download this particular file. So I open this particular file in an Excel sheet. And if you open any one of these, so let's, for example, take a cloud function and let's see all the information we can get now about this cloud function. Now here you can get a lot of information, not just the project and the resource name. Now you can also get uh, ingress settings. You can get what kind of runtime this particular function is using. So everything that is related to this function would be there within this particular Excel sheet. And that is true for all the resources that are downloaded in this particular Excel sheet. So if you want to get information with the metadata, then you should use this particular command. That is, you should add the content type as a resource. However, if you just want to get the name of the project and the name of the resource, then this particular command would suffice. So that's it for this lecture. So make sure that you create a schedule that runs this particular query every day. And you can also archive this once it gets beyond a certain date. So I hope this was a useful lecture. I will see you in the next.